since I did a uh, voiceover uh, video um, of one of my rides, and it's just just haven't had time with the kids and everything. Been out and last summer and fall, and then next thing you know, uh, COVID comes around and hits, and this kind of just takes everything out of commission. So I'm back in the saddle here. I'm just gonna do just a quick ride and give you guys some thoughts on this Indian Challenger that I'm riding here. Um, like I mentioned before, this is my second one. Um, it's a crazy story, but the dealership did the right thing and helped me out to uh, make me feel confident about the brand confident about their level of service. I bought two quads and three motorcycles from this uh, particular dealer. So we've got a relationship there that's helped out quite a bit. But besides that, they wanted to make sure it was right. And since uh, swapping out to this new bike, everything's been a-okay so, so far. Let me talk to you guys about this bike. I'm telling you, I've uh, heard a lot, watched a lot of videos. COVID hit, things started to get a little crazy. But then I decided to uh, slow my roll down a little bit. And then uh, I said, eventually, I said, life's too dead, I'm sure, not to enjoy it. And I said, I'm going to go ahead and make the jump and grab it. And then Right now, I am concluding the other bike that I dropped off. I'm at about almost, almost 2,000 miles um, riding this thing. So I can give you a good, really good assessment from a rider's perspective on what this thing is all about. So the ride quality, absolutely amazing. I was just completely blown away how smooth it was at all RPMs, at throttle, at low throttle, high throttle. It's, it's, this thing is just so it's freaking smooth. So the balancing on this, this engine is amazing. There's no buzzes or vibrations anywhere on the bike. I mean, this is the second one and I'm seeing the same level of quality in the build on the first one and the second one. It's just outstanding so very 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 well put together motorcycle um, the suspension and handling is just far more than i expected i mean i've ridden gold wing and had it over pretty good in my, in my younger days and then this one i just took a quick ride down 125 in pennsylvania this week and i had not adjusted the suspension yet um, I had it set on three and I didn't like the way it was sitting in the corner. It seemed like it was a little mushy. Um, I am a pretty, a much a little bigger rider than, than most. And uh, so this weekend I cranked it up to five and a half and then took it on another ride. And it was like I was riding on rails. It was much better handling this absorbed everything well and the composure of the bike was just top-notch I didn't I mean I hit some of these corners pretty hard and uh, not once did it drag I mean I was close I was ultra close to the ground and I was wondering I still had more lean angle available to me uh, that I was not utilizing so you can definitely toss this thing a little harder um, than I initially imagined. So suspension and handling is just, it, it, it met my expectations. Did it exceed it? Uh, no, I mean, it was, it's a bike, you know, it's a, it's a bagger. So I didn't expect that it would be like a sport bike uh, handling, but I definitely didn't expect being able to go through some of these corners, leaning it over as hard as I did. Um, I went through a, switchback that's posted speed limit is about 20 and 
man, I had that thing laid over you know, about 45, 50 miles an hour through that turn. It was absolutely amazing. So, so I think you'll, you'll, you're gonna, it's gonna be good when you get it on the handling side. Features, uh, the Rock Planet GPS, love it, it's outstanding. So you gotta get it. You gotta go on the, on the web to actually make a route, which is a little cumbersome. I wish you could do it on your phone, but uh, maybe it, at some point in the future, they will uh, be able to make an app that allows you to uh, plan a route right on your phone. So you don't have to go to a computer because there's not a lot of people that use a computer on a regular basis nowadays this all on your phone so something to consider um, navigation works well I mean all the features driving through the audio sound system sounds great um, I use a headset I sent a headset excuse me a cardo headset now switch to cardo um, and um, I don't really use the bike speakers that much because um, I like hearing it in my in-ear headphones um, right in my ears. It cuts down the background noise and I get to focus in on what's really important. Yeah, it's just enjoying the ride and listening to some of the sounds of this engine. So and then finally, I mean this thing on the power side just handles so well guys. This thing has just got so much power without any modifications. I mean, yeah, this thing just rips. So you just you gotta go test ride one for yourself and see if it's if it's something that you're interested in. I honestly think it is from a V-twin standpoint. It may not have as much power as some of the other bikes out there, but it does put, freaking put a kick you in the seat of pants and, and wake you up and say, hey, I'm here. So definitely um, get a test rod and make the decision for yourself. You know, if, if you want to go and join the tribe, but you still want to ride on the hog. So you know, I like all bikes. I like all riders. So it's not... Indian, Harley, Yamaha, Honda, whatever you ride, let's go ride. I don't care. But after riding all these bikes, feeling the power here and the comfort and the features and, and at a pretty good price, you know, without any upgrades, you know, you're getting more power than you know, CVO. So it's something that something that you really need to consider. If you really want to ride a motorcycle as an enthusiast and don't care what badge you wear, I honestly don't care. I'm going to go. I almost bought a Yamaha, whatever that new Yamaha is that they got that came out last year. Unfortunately, um, they didn't have any place to ride it. Like every place that I wanted to go test to ride it and a couple of, couple of dealerships around this area, you know, you got to do a credit app and you know, hey, then COVID hit and then pretty much everything shut down. So they're like, hey, uh, there's, no, there's no rods at all. So it's like, well, I had ridden the Indian Chieftain. I love that. And then now we got a fixed fairing variant of the Indian Chieftain, but with a liquid cooled V twin. I had to check it out as soon as I rode this thing. I took it out on a 20 minute ride through down the interstate through some back alleys and corners and this and I came back and I told this guy I was like man let's get the paperwork done let's get it done so I can't leave this dealership without this bike I am riding home today on this bike and uh, they hooked me up you know they hooked me up and I got the bike that I and then, of course, I started having little issues here and there. So the speedometer went out, the tachometer went out, the head unit locked up. So they saw that, they ordered a new one. They got me a new head unit. 
and put that in. Worked for a while. Then I got a code that popped up and said speed sensor. So took it back. They changed the speed sensor. Then I'm riding a couple weekends ago up north in the Harrisburg area. And uh, and then the next thing I know, I'm um, and the check engine light comes on. Check engine light comes on. It says speed sensor again. I'm like, what the heck, dude? Like, what is going on? Like, why am I having these issues with the speed sensor? And then, all of a sudden, the freaking um, bike cuts off on me. I'm going 40 miles an hour down the road. It just completely shuts off. Like, everything goes off. And uh, I clutched it, pulled it over to the side of the road. I'm like, what the heck is going on here? And then um, it fired right back up. And I was, uh, I wasn't stranded. It fired right back up. It had the check engine light came on. It didn't have a code or anything. It didn't show me that there was a code. And then um, I drove it. I drove it another. 300 miles before I got back to the dealership. And I was like, God, something's up. So they end up swapping out the head unit again. And oh, by the way, guys, if you end up getting your your engine control module, this whole head unit swapped out, Indian currently doesn't have a way to change the mileage on those head units. So as soon as you put a new head unit in, the mileage resets back to zero it's like i'm like whoa, 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 whoa. how does this work like this, is this illegal that's like tampering with the mileage of this vehicle i guess it doesn't matter for the one that i had because they're going to take it back to those dealership they're going to take it back to the factory and they're going to completely tear it down and try to figure out what the hell's going on with this thing so they can fix it so they're not going to resell this one they're going to they're going to uh, give it to uh back to uh, indian as a donor bike to do some issue with. But it rode fine. It didn't, it didn't seem like, other than the shutting down issue, and I was just like, wow, man, that's crazy. I'm not not happy with this. It's shutting down on me randomly. But uh, you know, this one, they, they pretty much hooked me up, gave me a brand new motorcycle off another dealership's floor, and uh, they uh, rolled everything over, and, the other bike into this one at no cost to me. They took the first service and they made that free. Uh, and then they threw in uh, another uh, t-shirt and some swag. You know, as a customer, repeat customer, they wanted me to feel comfortable with coming back and they were taking care of me. So I, I do appreciate the, the dealership doing what they had to do to make a lifelong customer. Um, uh, for Indian products. But I'll tell you this, if there's another bike that comes out that's better than this in five years, got you know, better features, power, ride, ride qualities is good, I might have to consider that as well too. So it's it's not a um, not a done deal. But just me staying with this brand. So uh, but I will tell you this, it's just here multiple times I'm impressed I'm impressed and I think that if you get one of these you will be impressed as well 